Good morning, everybody. It's another episode of Intellectually Honest, unedited, uncut. We're going to get right into it. Before we get right into it, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notif uh, notified every time I drop. Um, but anyway, let's get right into it. You know, I saw the game last night. And you know, I got some takeaways from it. Um, I saw some things last night that uh, that I didn't, I didn't really like from the Chicago Bulls, man. Um, of course, they lost the game 98-103. Um... The, that final score is closer than what I saw, based on my opinion. Uh, that final score is closer than the game actually was. I never felt at any point in that game that the Bulls were going to win. And that's concerning to me. I don't know if y'all, uh, I don't know if y'all was tapped in on my video where I said that, uh, when the, when the, the Knicks beat the Bulls and I said, um, I said the Bulls, they lost. They, cause I said that was going to be their. They, uh, I said that was going to be the Bulls' first test, and I said the Bulls didn't pass the test, but they didn't fail the test either, because I felt like that uh, if a couple things had gone a little different, the Bulls uh, would have been uh, would have came out on top. I didn't feel like the Knicks showed that they were a better team. Last night, I feel like the Philadelphia 76 they showed that they were a better team. I feel like that they trust. Yeah, they I feel like they trust each other a lot more. And that brings it to my first takeaway. This team has trust issues. Major trust issues. That ball does not swing. Um, or it didn't swing. It's like when, whenever the game is tight, whenever uh the pressure is on, the ball does not swing. Um I I, I saw a couple times where DeRozan and, or Levine or uh, whoever will be cutting to the goal or slashing to the goal with the ball. And Lonzo or somebody will be wide open at the three where they could dish it out, make the defense have to commit and swing it. That don't happen with the Bulls. That hasn't happened with the Bulls. It didn't happen last night. And I think that's a large reason why they lost the game. I think that's a large reason why Lonzo doesn't look quite the way he like, don't give it don't get it twisted like gravy without a biscuit. He still looks good. Zo still looks good. He's still uh being himself and he's still allowed to, you know, be a, a, a point guard. But he doesn't look maybe quite like how we thought they would look. Uh, they're not running quite as fast, uh, nearly as fast, actually. Uh, somebody brought to my attention um, last video. And that's because they don't trust anybody. They don't trust Zo to be Zo like they said they would. They don't trust th this teammate. This team doesn't trust each other enough to, like, for if I'm DeRozan or if I'm Levine, to pass it to somebody else and say, hey, I I'm trusting you can. You know, you put, you go ahead and help us to help us bring this thing home. Everybody has that. I'ma do it. If it's gonna happen, I'ma do it. Levine, I saw Levine force a lot of shots uh, last night. I got the stats, so we're gonna get into some stats in a sec. Um, I saw Levine force a lot of shots, man. Um, the Rosen, even though the Rosen kind of got it going after a while, starting out, they, uh, I saw them guys forcing a lot of shots. Zach Levine, um, you know. I, I just didn't like it. And uh and the Sixers, Seth Curry and them guys, man, uh Shake, Milton, them guys was they was coming off of screens, getting nice clean ones. Clean looks at the basket for three. And um so I, like I said, at no point uh when I was watching that game last night that I think the Bulls had a chance to win. That's just that's just how I'm how I saw it. Um who knows? I know they the Bulls don't play tonight, so I might spend the block on this game and uh just watch it again. Just for my own personal, you know, but yeah, I didn't like what I saw. Uh, selfish, selfishness, man. That selfishness can kill a team. And that brings me to my next point. Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Um, and y'all can y'all can comment. Y'all can leave comments if y'all feel like I'm out of pocket. This is just based on what I saw last night. And what I, you know, uh, I'm not gonna cap in that like I've been seeing this the whole time. It really, it might just be a one-off. It may have just been how Zach was feeling last night. But I don't, I think Zach might be feeling a little bit of pressure from uh, DeRozan. And um, from DeRozan, with all the love DeRozan's been getting the last couple games. Um, you know, everybody's saying DeRozan is the closer. I said DeRozan is the closer. Maybe Zach was tapped into intellectually honest. And he was like, dang, I can't have the streets out here talking like this. So he came out tonight with it to prove a point. 
you know, had one assist, five turnovers. Um, I, I, I don't want to throw the J word out there, but I mean, y'all let, let me know in the comments. Y'all think Zach might be a little bit, because think about it. Last year, even though the Bulls was trash, Zach was the big fish in a trash pond. He was the big monster in the swamp. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that sewage that was the Chicago Bulls last year. He was the monster in that in that um in that cesspool. Um But now they got the Rosen. And the Rosen is getting a lot of love. The Rosen is getting a lot of uh you know, a lot of the, a lot of the shots down the stretch, the Rosen is taking them. A lot of the decisions down the stretch. The Rosen has the ball in his hand. Now, Zoe, see, when it was just Zoe rumored to come over, and even after it was like kind of like a foregone conclusion that Zoe was coming, um, I still don't think that was a big enough, I still don't think that was a big issue because I think everybody was kind of, uh, it was kind of established that, the Rose, that uh, Zach was still the big fish in the small pond. Um, but when you get the Rosen, and you start out with uh, there being questions about whether it, whether he can fit, whether it can even work. The Rosen might have to come off the bench and run with the second unit. I think somebody said that. Um, so you go from that to now this dude getting mad love, man. Even I'm loving what I'm seeing from the Rosen. He getting mad love. Uh, rightfully so. He's been hooping. You know, we can't... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. He's been hooping. De DeMar DeRozan, you know? And, uh, and I think Zach Levine might be feeling a little bit of pressure to try to kind of like validate himself. Like, show like, hey, you know, I'm still that dude on this team. Y'all still going to have to run me my dollars, uh, you know, to keep me in town. DeRozan nice, but I'm still that dude, and, and which he is. He still very much is. He's still that guy. I don't think, but I do think because DeRozan can do a lot of what he can do, and I think a lot of people are starting to see and starting to think or starting to feel that he might be just a tad little bit uh, more trustworthy in the fourth quarter than DeRozan, I mean, than, than Levine. I think Levine might be feeling a little bit of pressure uh, from that. Um... Let's look at the stats. He had, and Levine didn't have a trash game uh, like that. Not really. Not really. He didn't really have a trash game. He had 27 points, nine rebounds, one assist, one steal, uh, one block attempt. Uh, he was 45.8% from the field, 28.6% from three, which is trash. Um, like I said, he was forcing up a lot, uh, and he clearly didn't have it going. He did have a negative 15 uh, in the player efficiency, in the plus minus, uh, which is not good. Um, <laughs> and it didn't help. It doesn't help that DeRozan had a positive 12. He had the best plus minus in the starting lineup. Him and Zoe actually had the only uh, positive plus minus in the starting lineup. That's, that says a lot, to be honest with you, about Zoe and DeRozan, that they can have positive plus minuses in a loss. Uh, typically, if you lose the game, uh, the whole starting lineup will have uh, have negatives. Um, so shout out to them. Um, but yeah, uh, DeRozan, 37 points, 10 rebounds, an assist, a steal. Shout out to DeRozan stepping it up and proving people wrong on the defensive end. 59% from the field. I thought mid-range shots wasn't efficient. Um, shoot, Jesus Christ. 11 from 12 from the free throw lines. Yeah, see... Zach, he may be starting to feel that pressure, man. I don't want to say that it's DeRozan's team, but <sighs> Zach might be feeling it. Uh, I don't want to throw the J word out there. But like I said, I mean, they're six and two. But uh, Zach didn't have to worry about this last year. You know, Kobe White was understood. He was a project. He was still a work in progress. Um, Patrick Williams was a work in progress. Uh, Zach was like the only Laurie marking him. They was already understood. He was. He, they was trying to get him to get up out of there. Um, the Rosen was sitting happy. It's like the, he was the guy, you know. But now the now uh, the Ro, uh, not the Rosen. The Levine was sitting happy that he was the guy. But now the Rosen is there, and he's getting mad love, rightfully so too. Um, so yeah, shaky game. Uh, like I said, if you look at the box score, you will say, "Oh, they played well." But if you actually saw the game. 
you see what I'm saying. I saw a lot of selfishness out there, a lot of uh, unwillingness to, to move the rock. I don't think that's how this team is going to be successful. I think if they can't figure that out, if they can't learn to trust each other, um, then they, they, they're doomed. They're not going to they're not gonna get past the, the, the big dogs of the East. They're not going to get past the, the Bucks, the Sixers, the Nets, um, the Heat. They, they, they can't do nothing with them big dogs uh, if they don't play as a team. Um, Vucevic had a trash game. Back to his old, you know, ways like how he was in the preseason and uh, at the beginning of the season. Four points. Jeez, man. You're the star center, Vooch. We don't need another Steven Adams. Lonzo had Steven Adams last year, man. We don't need that. You a star. Four points, 10 rebounds, six assists. Two for seven from the field. 28.6%. So that is trash. Uh, zero for two from three. That is trash. No field, uh, no free throw attempts. Um, negative 16. Vooch had the worst uh, plus minus in the starting lineup. Worst plus minus on the team in this game. Uh, not good. Not good stuff from Vooch. Um, you know he needs to need to definitely need to get that get that uh, turned around. Um, our boy Lonzo Ball, the number one son, uh, had a he had a he had a solid Lonzo Ball game. You know what I'm saying? This is a solid Lonzo Ball game. It's nothing. It's not whack. But it's not spectacular either. 13, five, 13 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Stat sheet stuffing. That's what Zoe has been doing. That's what he does. Um, yeah, you know, like if they were passing the ball, if they were, spin, if they were like moving that rock, Zoe could easily have 3 more assists. We could go have 13, 5, and 8. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's what I'm saying. But if they, if they don't trust Zoe... To be to to completely be what they brought him there to be, it's it's not gonna work. It's it's gonna be a mess, and it was a mess last night. Zoe had a solid game though. I can't hold you. Thirteen five points, uh, uh, thirteen points, five rebounds, five assists, three steals, one block, forty five point five percent from the field goal, fifty percent from three. That's a, you know that's really good. No free throws. <laughs> Leave a comment if y'all surprised about that about Zoe not getting no free throws. Jeez, man, what what is it gonna take for this dude? To... <laughs> we need to get Zoe some therapy. He got some mental blocks going on and stopping him from attacking the rim. Um, five turnovers. I don't like that. His plus minus probably would have been a lot higher if he didn't have those five turnovers. And I saw I saw those turnovers too. They were nasty, man. That's the thing about Zoe. When Zoe messes up, man. It looks nasty, man. Like it, look, it looks like he don't know what he's doing. He make you want to bench him almost, almost. Just because it looks that bad. But, um, nah, overall, though, solid game from Zoe. No complaints. Uh, Javante Green did Javante Green things. He crashed the boards. He was an energy guy. No uh, Two steals. No complaints from Javante Green. Um, Alex Caruso. This is the thing. I see a lot of people say Alex Caruso has uh, kind of like been underwhelming the last few games. But the thing is, he's a backup point guard. It's like... You know, like I get it. He's that. Like he has the uh, he has the mystique of a much larger player. This is just T, by the way. Um, he has the mystique of a much larger player. You know, stat stature wise, not, uh, like stat. You know, as far as like like um, status in the league, but he's still just, he's just a backup point guard, man. So we gotta like you gotta kind of like chill out on the on the Caruso slander. Like it's not. It's not like this guy was the number one pick or whatever, and he's like underperforming. Like he's he's a backup point guard. He had six assists, two steals. He 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 was alright. Fifty percent from the field. He was alright. Um, he was hit, uh, plus minus. He was only a negative one, which like I said, like I said before, typically if you lose the game, your plus minus is gonna be bad just based off the loss. Derrick Jones Jr. Um, this is the thing. I don't know how to really feel about Derrick Jones Jr. because I'm not really sure what we expected from him. I know we know he's a high flyer and all that stuff. But I don't. I'm not really sure what we expect from Derrick Jones Jr. Um, what's he averaging uh, anyway? He's yeah. He's only averaging four points. I don't know what his averages were last year. I guess I could look it up. But I'm not really sure what we expected from him. I didn't expect him to be like a premier score. You know, it's like whatever. Like I said, the, nobody, no individual player lost this game. They lost this game as a team, and uh, I hope Billy Donovan pulls them to the side and say, hey, y'all got to trust each other. 
Most importantly, y'all got to trust Zoe. And that brings me to my third point. Lonzo Ball, our guy, the number one son, the reason why we're here, Lonzo, the most polarizing player in the league outside of maybe LeBron and Curry, but I still think Lonzo. Listen. Billy Donovan needs to have a conversation with DeRozan, Vucevic, Levine, and Lonzo Ball and say, look, I get it. You guys can all handle the rock. Vooch, you're a great passer for a center. I get it. But we brought Lonzo Ball here because he's special in terms of facilitating. They need to make it perfectly clear. You can't have this random shit, yeah, random stuff no more. You can't have this random stuff no more where, no, we're not turning this into the Pelicans where everybody's the point guard. Billy Donovan, before it's too late, needs to pull these guys to the side and establish the pecking order in terms of uh, facilitator duties. Because I've seen it. I've seen Lonzo Ball, and part of it is Lonzo Ball's fault. He's not forceful enough. I get it. He's never going to rock the boat in that sense. He's not Chris Paul. He's not LaMelo Ball in that regard where he's just going to like, hey, give me that. Give me the rock. Rosen, Rosen, yeah, Rosen, no, no, I got it, but Rosen, give me the rock, but, but, but I can handle the rock, Rosen, you know what I'm saying, I don't think he got, I don't think he has that in him, and maybe, you know, I don't know, man, I mean, I, I, cause I, even me, I gave him a pass for letting LeBron take his job, cause like, I mean, let's be real. Unless you Ray Allen, LeBron taking your job. Unless your job is to be a sharpshooter, LeBron is taking your job. Hey, let's just keep it a buck. Um, uh, so I gave him a pass for LeBron. I gave Ball a pass for LeBron taking his job. And even when he got to uh, New Orleans, I kind of gave him a pass for Ingram taking his job. And, I, and, I, and then I gave, but at, at a certain point, it's like, now you on a team. They've invested in you. They gave you them dollars. They told you, wait, we'll keep up with you. Now, I don't know if that was just talk, but they said, we'll keep up with you. You just do you. And we'll adjust. And now... It appears that he's letting DeRozan encroach on his position. I'm, if I was with Lonzo, if I was a, a fly on the wall that could talk, I would pull Alonzo, a strong fly on the wall that could talk, I would pull Alonzo Ball to the side and say, hey, look, man, you got to solidify your position. Like, why is people even out here thinking you might be timid? Is it because you stand in the corner and let the, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta solidify your positions, though. Like, <laughs> Ving. Hey, Ving. Nah, Zoe, I'm cooking. I'm hitting this fade of Ving. Give me the rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta solidify your position. So that's my third takeaway. With Zoe, we gotta, I don't know what's up with Zoe, man. I think maybe, maybe he had it too good growing up. Maybe. You know, he was the star at every point in his life. He never really had to ask for, a, a, you know, solidify a position or demand to rock. People just gave it to him. But now he's at he's at the NBA level and everybody can hoop. Um, I don't know, man. Zoe gotta, he got to solidify his position. Um, but that's it, man. I ain't really got that many takeaways from it. Uh, but that, those are my main ones. Just the trust issues, man. The trust issues... Uh, Zach Levine possibly being maybe jealous of De DeMar DeRozan's love that he's getting, possibly, maybe. And it's causing him to make stupid decisions on the court, selfish decisions on the court. Uh, Lonzo Ball not solidifying his position. Even though he's having solid games and he's really affecting the game in a lot of positive ways, he, he got to start demanding that rock, man. You know, he knows. It's, it's, it's funny. He even said that he's been playing basketball 
all his life, and he has, and he's been playing the point guard position all his life, which he, which he has, except for with Stan Van Gundy, because Stan Van Gundy don't know coaching. Yet, you get on a team with a point with a coach that's notoriously, yeah, he's known for being good with point guards. They invest $85 million in you, tell you they want you to be you, and you still don't solidify your position? It's early. It's early. But Billy Donovan needs to sit them guys down. And he needs to lay it out and say, hey, listen, Lonzo Ball is an extension of me on the court. And that's just the way it is. Because um, what I saw last night, I did not like it. They did not pass this test. They absolutely failed this test. The 76ers looked like they were better than them all night. I do not see a scenario where the Bulls won that game, where, where win that game tonight. They just, they just, they, they didn't trust each other enough. The ball didn't swing enough. They weren't getting easy enough buckets, which kind of defeats the purpose of getting Zoe. Um, but the, the good thing is, it's a long season, and as fate would have it, what's today, Thursday? Yeah, it's a long season, and as fate would have it, they get to spin the block on this game, on this matchup. They get to spin the block. Saturday night, 8 p.m. in Chicago, they get to run it back. And this time, the only way I see the Bulls, if they lose this time in the same manner, then the Bulls just aren't good enough to compete with the Sixers. Straight up. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, so, but that's that's what that's what I got. In order for them to in order for them to get better and really be the team that that, that we think they can be as fans, uh, they got to start trusting each other. Uh, Levine got to get out of his head and uh, you just accept that the Rosen can hoop too. Uh, Lonzo Ball got to solidify his position, and they just and they got to do it, man. They got to get that speed back up to like how it was last season, and uh, and really make use of Zoe. So, um, other than that, man, um, that's about it. Uh, very disappointed with the bull with the Bulls last night. Why do I feel like I said Celtics at some point in this uh, video? I really, I really hope I didn't say Celtics at some point in this video. Anywho, um. Uh, that's about it. It's another episode of Intellectually Honest. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you're really messing with what I'm doing. If you like how uh, you know, like the content I'm bringing out to you. If you like these recaps and reviews, uh, my honest opinion about things, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And most definitely hit that notification bell for the algorithm. That way you'll be notified for whenever I drop. And uh, that's what we're going to leave it at. Um, I'll catch you all on the next one.